This is the last residence of an early Texas patriot. Of course, his name was Jose Antonio Navarro, and he was actually born here in San Antonio in 1795. And he lived here during all the different changes that occurred in early Texas history. He was very much involved uh, when it was part of Spain, when it became part of Mexico, when it became a republic, when it became a state in the Union, when it became a Confederate state, and then when it re-entered the Union and during Reconstruction. So he was very much involved in all the different changes that occurred. But he, he was also very much involved in the early development of Texas politics. He was involved uh, as a member of the legislature when it was part of Mexico, when it became a republic. And he actually served this community twice as senator when it became a state in the Union. Now, he was a little bit of everything. He was a rancher, a land investor, a merchant, a politician, land commissioner. But he is known as being one of two native-born Texans to actually sign the Texas Declaration of Independence from Mexico in 1836. He was also very influential in the drafting of the Constitution when, uh, during the period of the Republic years and also when it became a state in the Union. So very much involved in the politics of that day. Um, does the house still look, uh, has it been kept almost exactly as it was when he lived here? Pretty much. Uh, the oldest building on the property is actually 178 years old. We bought the property in 1832, it was actually an acre and a half. Uh, what remains now is one third of an acre and three buildings. All the buildings are actually situated where they were actually built. Uh, the oldest building act actually is uh, structured of adobe. Uh, Which one the, is the oldest building? The oldest building would actually be the center room in this building right here. Okay. When he moved out here 20 years later, uh, when he finally decided to make this his retirement home, uh, he added on to that building. Uh, and then, of course, he built that two-story structure which housed his office on the top floor and on the bottom floor was like a little general store, a little mercantile store. And then he had the main house, which actually consisted of only two rooms. Uh, there would be the two rooms facing the street. What you see here, this addition here, that big room we were just in and the two little rooms that you'll see as we walk up to the main house was actually an addition made by the new owner who bought the property from the daughter in 1871 when he passed away. Now, he passed away in 1871, but the daughter actually sold the property in 1876, five years later. And At then the, the state bought it? When? Actually, no. Uh, in 1960, this property was actually scheduled to be demolished by the city of San Antonio. It was going to become a parking lot for the building next door. During that period, the building next door was actually the Bear County Jail. The owner at that time, Lady Brady, actually uh, notified the San Antonio Conservation Society, who in turn bought it, bought the property from, from her. Uh, they went ahead and uh, were able to gain possession from the city. Uh, they renovated it and they opened it up to the general public as a historic site in 1964. And they maintained it actually till 1975. At that point, they deeded it to the state of Texas. Uh, during that period of time, Parks and Wildlife were actually uh, the ones responsible for the site itself until uh, until 2008 when uh, it was actually transferred over to the Texas Historical Commission who's now managing the property itself. Do y'all get a lot of visitors out here or we get a, uh, onlookers, not, people see it by chance? Sporadically from day to day we'll have some visitors come. Um, a lot of times um, they just happen to come onto the property itself when they're walking from the various local hotels in the city. And then we do get a lot of uh, referral uh, from uh, particularly the Governor's Palace when they're open. Um, we have pretty good rapport with the, uh, with the city and with that particular uh, site. And so we kind of refer each other. And, and I try to point out some of the other local sites that they can yeah. visit too that really are not that commonly visited, uh, such as the Alamo or the Missions. You know. And th this is a, y'all are in a rare spot where you got Actually, the police. Kind of Got the police station right there, and this is got a private jail now, right? Yeah, it's yeah. part of the jail, uh, jail yeah. system. We've got the SAPD, and of course this building right here, this West Cullen building, is actually uh, part of the county. It's part of the county administrative offices. The original boundary to this property, to kind of give you an idea how big it was, was actually the, the creek itself. That wow. was the original boundary for the property.